Tinted Lip Balm, Ice Matcha Lattes, and Organic Made SPF. These are just a few of the many attributes that make up the clean girl aesthetic. Fat phobic, racist, ageist, and unattainable for most. These are also just a few of the many attributes that make up the clean girl aesthetic. This is the ultimate guide to being a clean girl, but not in the way you would think. If you want some basic video that glorifies this somewhat toxic trend and shows you how to be a carbon copy of all the other girls, you've clicked on the wrong video. Let's talk about the clean girl. TikTok has established itself as the giant of social media video streaming platforms. Its users are relying on the app to view and participate in hundreds of thousands of trends that have been going viral constantly. From dancing to cooking videos, TikTok has become the go-to app for all things trendy. One of the more recent trends that has swept the platform is the clean girl aesthetic that has more than 670 million views. You know those girls that always look clean? Their skin is always glowing, their lips are always glossed, and they never ever look like they're wearing too much makeup. You may not be them, but here's how to get their look. So to really understand or even be the clean girl, we're gonna have to break down what all this entails. The clean girl aesthetic requires you to always look your best without looking like you spent time getting there. Starting off with hair, of course we have the most obvious and popular hairstyle that's associated with this trend and what most people think of when they hear clean girl, which is the slick back bun. And something about this hairstyle is that it was already really trending with brown and black women. I'm gonna touch more on this later, but hairstyles like the slick back bun have been popular with brown and black women since the 1960s. And something I think is really interesting is ballet core actually has so many similar attributes to the clean girl aesthetic. Think about it. The slick back bun, leotards, showing up for class in minimalistic makeup. The bun is a key signifier of the clean girl look, often with a slight center part in front. And of course, the bun always has to look and seem perfect without a single hair out of place. An alternative to the the bun is a slick back ponytail, often with the tail of the hair braided. If it's worn down with the clean girl look, it's always highly smooth and shiny. The glassier, the better. Now, of course, there are different hairstyles you can do with the clean girl aesthetic, but the slick back bun is like the notorious hairstyle that most people associate with that aesthetic. Next, we have makeup, which is arguably the most important attribute to this aesthetic. If all else fails, just make sure you have the clean girl makeup look. No makeup makeup is a pit by this trend. Clean girls use makeup products that perform functions such as covering up blemishes without being obvious. Glossy lips are key, but they shouldn't be overly colored. Blush is sometimes heavily employed to give the face a rosy glow and the brows are to be perfect. Highlighter and contour further help to achieve this glowing finish, but the goal is for them to be undetectable. And if you don't know how to achieve this look, just go on TikTok or YouTube. YouTube has some really cool and dope tutorials on how to be the clean girl. A YouTuber that really reminds me of the whole clean girl is Daisy Keach. I wouldn't say overall she does the whole clean girl look, but sometimes her makeup is clean girl. All right, so for clothing, looking polished is a key component of the clean girl aesthetic, but you shouldn't appear here as if you thought too much about your outfit. Think well-fitting basics like black or white t-shirts and tank tops, boyfriend cut blue jeans. The look is preppy but not stuffy. Think off-duty model. The clean girl aesthetic is really tied to the minimalistic look. It's very like I have other things to worry about than clothing type of vibe. So you just throw something on. For jewelry, again, very simplistic but still fashionable. Chunky hoops, bracelet cuffs, silver, gold, things of that nature. Now, now for lifestyle, the clean girl aesthetic goes beyond one's own body, encompassing what a woman does and how she lives on the daily. In the morning, matcha lattes are more clean girl than coffee. Minimalist decor is the choice for a clean girl's home because let's face it, it works really well in photos. Because if you think about it, the clean girl aesthetic is really photogenic and a lot of people are trying to get the whole clean girl look just to get a good Instagram picture. Now let's talk about who are actually the clean girls and the inspiration for this aesthetic. The two people who have really just set off and inspired this trend are Hailey Bieber and Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez has her brand Rare Beauty, which is basically a makeup brand, and her overall theme and the products she has are all very clean, classy, minimalistic, but still pretty. Her outfits also really bring that clean girl look to life. In regards to Hailey Bieber, I would basically say she's 
the face of the clean girl. Like Hailey Bieber is the 2023 version of what a clean girl is currently looking like in society. So now that we have a general consensus of what the clean girl encapsulates, we have to address the toxicity that involves this trend. This trend is very ageist. If you actually look at it, clean girls are all young women. This trend is only appealing to most of the 25 and under crowd. The idea is to look fresh faced and youthful as if life hasn't had its way with you yet. Our society already has a major issue with undervaluing older women and trends like this compound that problem. By placing an even larger emphasis on youthful attributes that are impossible to keep as we age, the clean girl aesthetic further amplifies this message that aging is undesirable or even dirty. How do you think that makes older people feel? It's just so sad and cruel. I get that not every single trend can be open to every age and gender, but still. Next, this trend is very one-sided and racist. When scrolling through the trends hashtags on TikTok, there is one clear problem. A large percentage of this trends recipients are white women. This problem always seems to arise with so many trends in general. Celebrities such as Hailey Bieber and Bella Hadid have been deemed the creators and pioneers of this trend, when in actuality, the concept of what TikTok has called the clean girl look has existed in black and brown communities for decades. For instance, gold hoop earrings that have come to characterize the clean girl aesthetic were popularized during the 1960s and 70s during the black power movement by black female activists such as Angela Davis. Black female musical artists in the 90s such as Salt and Peppa also helped to bring this trend of gold hoop earrings to mainstream society. The combination of the slick back hair and clear lip gloss can also be traced to the chola female aesthetic that was popularized by marginalized Mexican-American women residing in Southern California during the 90s. Time and time again, the clean girl aesthetic and other popular trends rooted in cultural appropriation show society that aspects of culture that are popularized by black and brown communities will only be deemed acceptable and cute when a white woman participates in the culture and claims it as her own. For generations, black and brown women have been criticized and called ghetto and dirty for the same aesthetic while white women are praised for it. Next, while scrolling through the hashtag clean girl posts, you're immediately struck by how then everyone is on this trend. Being bigger is judgmentally condemned and considered unclean by many people in Western culture. And that prejudice holds true in this trend. This trend is all about shoulder bones, collar bones, and hip bones. And if yours aren't visible, you're seen as less than. And that of course is so not okay. I don't understand why can't we just accept everyone for who they are and what they look like. And last but not least, beyond being racist, ageist, and fat phobic, the clean girl aesthetic simply isn't realistic to most of the population. The makeup involves not having freckles or acne, things that most people have. Your hair needs to be loosely textured or your bun or slick back ponytail will develop frizz. Your clothes should be free of wrinkles and appear just washed. And while conforming to all those standards, you need to appear as if the effort to do so took you no time at all. And for anyone with like a job or a kid or a life, that kind of time day to day just doesn't exist. Like all these people that are trying to romanticize your life, be the main character and be the clean girl are probably more privileged than the average person. The average working class American or even like middle schooler that lives in a lower class home doesn't have the time or money to buy $13 organic smoothies and $50 oversized t-shirts. Like the last thing a single mother is trying to worry about is how minimalistic her outfit is that day. Like, no one has time for that. You'll notice quickly looking at hashtag clean girl post that everything about this look is sparkly clean and dirt is avoided at all costs. Which is something that's kind of only possible for someone who doesn't have much to do with their life. Or for example, spend any time on say a public transit or in a job that requires physical strain. Additionally, this look is very pricey. The brand's favorite for the clean girl makeup, clothes, and decor are all high-end and expensive. This trend posits a lifestyle in which you don't get dirty and that isn't realistic for anyone who isn't extremely wealthy. So now we're all feeling left insecure because we're unable to conform to this aesthetic and fit in with society. So after all this, who wants to be a clean girl? 
Thank you guys so much for staying till the end of the video. I post every single week, so please come back next week for my next video. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys.